saying that though, it did work. Um, a lot of people <laughs> you did. Sure? Yeah, a lot of people looked. Yeah, well, if I'm meant to go hype up the crowd and then all of a sudden there was a guy on the floor. Yeah, I was like, hold my beer. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one better. <laughs> so... Now it's time for my favourite part of the show. Yeah. The Valo Adelaide 500 happened last week, and we had the pleasure of going as media for the first time. Um, it was really, really cool. It was epic. Besides from the ending, which we will get into, but <laughs> how, was your, how was your experience from uh, Wednesday? Because obviously our weekend started Wednesday. Yeah, and then that being a five-day event for us. Yeah. We didn't really know what to expect on the Wednesday. Um, we got invited to the Greg Murphy press conference because he was really the, cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We got to meet him. That was only like six, seven. That was actually really cool about that. He came yeah. up to us personally, handshaked everyone. Uh, we actually had a comp little ch cheeky chat before what, we began. Yeah, what we thought was just going to be in a big room, mm. you know, 20, 30 people there asking random questions ended up being a very one on one type experience, actually. I'd and call you, it. <laughs> you waved to Macaulay Jones while you're at it. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't really wave. I was from how you going? And he, and he, he way yeah, back, way yeah. back. Um, yeah, but it was kind of cool to see what the guys and girls do mm. the day before. Um, obviously, the truck pride was Tuesday, um, mm. so there's not that much time to unpack. No, so technically, your weekend shop. started Tuesday. Oh well, yeah, technically, I was only there for ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, but your your media duties started. My, there. my media started uh, <laughs> when, uh, on Tuesday. But um. No, it was cool to, and then obviously we saw, yeah, did the Greg Murphy interview, like like you said, we he had a chat with us and whatnot, and then got invited down to see Mark Winterbottom's tribute livery, the reveal, the reveal, too. not even just the livery, just no, the whole got to tribute. watch the uncover, which was really cool. That was really really cool. Um, like obviously seeing it was just normal unveiling of a car, whatever, but being where we were mm. was the coolest part, as yeah. if you remember me. Um, you were walking down the yeah. pit lane and I was just like in awe. Yeah. I, we, I shouldn't yeah. be here, but I am. And yeah, I was shaking. Yeah. Well, I was genuinely shaking. We, we genuinely walked past Chazzy and Ryan Wood. That's not, that's um, something else I couldn't get over. But the fun, the funny thing is we watched them after we did a track walk, by the way, too, which was yeah. insane with teams. Yeah. Um, for, everyone was near us. It was unreal. Yeah. Mainly Nick Perker and Cam Hill. Yeah. Um, you streamed that, which was really cool. We had a lot of viewers there. Um, but then we watched some pit stop practice happening, which was I've never seen that before. No. Um, and that was really cool. And we got to watch it with Matt Payne and Ryan Wood and Richie Stanaway, as you do. Mm. <laughs> Why not? As you do. Why not? Um, but oh. And then we went to Tractor Town, of course, and you got to talk to the drivers. Yeah, a little bit. How was that um, for you? Oh, it was pretty cool. Like, we had to wait. Because the drivers got there, they drove. Obviously, if you didn't see it, they drove through King William Street, mm. Pony, uh, Pony, uh, Grenfell Street in the supercars mm. with a police escort, of course. And yeah, they got out of the car, hopped out to the signing session area. They were there for an hour, non-stop signing. I felt really bad for the people holding up the umbrellas for their team. Literally. It was really hot. It was hot. It was a really warm day. Um, but yeah, their, their arms must be so sore. Well, they're, they're probably used to it. Um, but yeah, the sun was glaring in on them. Unfortunately, the afternoon sun was not facing them in the right direction. Mm. But it was a really cool setup. I think the council did a really good job setting that up um, where they parked it. There's now skid marks all over the place, thanks to Nick Perker and uh, <laughs> it was Courtney. Um, but yeah, no, it was a great experience getting really close to the cars. Mm. Obviously, we had a bit more access than. Was this your first public. time being up, real up and close with them? I think it's a supercar, yeah. yeah. De I've. I've had a few garage experiences in the past, but not mm. all 24 yeah. cars in a line. Like, that's ridiculous. So I've had two grid walks in my lifetime, but this was really cool. This is A grid walk is something I'd imagine, because mm. a lot of people, mm. you know, wandering around, a lot of photos. I got to film every yeah. car with like four people in front of me. Do you know what the thing is, though? If during that whole hour of they were signing, you could just walk up. Because we were yeah, media, yeah, you were yeah. able to just walk up and have a look at them. Actually, why didn't we do that? <laughs> anyway. Too scared. <laughs> yeah, too scared. We, yeah, <laughs> honestly, being media for the first time was an, a daunting thing. Mm. And it took us probably the Wednesday and the half of Thursday, I would say, if you agree. Look, I think we'll be know... chickens if we just met Greg Murphy and nothing else. Yeah. I reckon. That's true. <laughs> well, 
you, I think you got fixated to it a little bit better than I did. But it took me the whole of Wednesday, mm. and like, I got home Wednesday, and I was still shaking. It was unreal. It was a really cool experience. Like my arms are just like twitching. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was cool. Asking the drivers their favorite emoji, I didn't expect the response. Not not the actual answers, but how involved they got. Enthusiastic. They yeah, were. enthusiastic. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah, yeah. In well, how especially in- Cam Hill, for example. Cam Hill didn't <laughs> say anything. He just put his arms up and yeah. demonstrated the the mm. emoji he uses. I think the thing that we did really well was not ask them questions that have already been asked. Mm. Right. Um, you know, I'm assuming that hear the same thing over and over again, probably a good th- not a thousand, but hundreds of times of the one weekend. And we didn't want to do that. Mm. Um, I got to give a thanks to Georgia, my partner for, um, suggesting that question. Cause really we were, great question. We were, um, tossing and turning on which question to ask the drivers, but that ended up being the one that we chose. And, and for good reason. Mm. And it all started when we asked Greg Ross too. He did. And he was also enthusiastic. Mm. Like, I'm very happy with how enthusiastic yeah. this uh, these drivers have been. And we hopefully could like to continue to do something similar in the future. We didn't get every driver. I think we got about 14. You got a no, really good amount. Though. Sorry, 10. Mm. Still missed a few. I really wish we got one of the retiring drivers, uh, Frosty and Slade, because yeah. that won't happen hey, again. There, there might be more opportunities next year, though, as well. Maybe we can go to Bath this one year and do 50. That'd be cool. <laughs> Get that'd all be really 50. Cool. That'd be really Man, cool. Man, that'd be sick. Um, speaking of Frosty, uh, yes. with the recent news, he's going to Tickford next year as yeah, a co-driver. Really yeah. We got to hop in the Tickford garage we and did. hang out. That was really cool. Shout out to Michael. Yeah. Um, absolute legend. Um, was How was that for you? Really good. You missed the bit, unfortunately. Yeah, um did. Yeah, yeah, you, you had to walk off. Dad duties. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, after Daniel left, um, our great friend Michael is uh, good friends with uh, Thomas Randall, and uh, I had my back facing the entrance of the um, the paddock, the garage. No, the paddock. Oh, so I was facing the yeah, garage. Yeah, yeah. You're facing the track side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And all of a sudden, this guy comes up to Michael and goes, "Hey, you going, mate? Yeah. Freaking Thomas <laughs> Randall. Hello." Anyway, um. Yeah, it was really enthusiastic. You can actually tell in the emoji video that that one was actually set up. Well, he gave you two answers. He did. He did. And a bit of a demonstration as well. Mm. Um, but like, I asked him if we could answer that question. He goes, yeah, yeah no worries. Like, it was really enthusiastic. Mm. But you could tell in the emoji video that that one was set up. Whereas yeah. other ones was generally raw. Yeah, like Will Brown, for example. Will Brown, I, I ran up to him yeah. and just grabbed him. Even he was enthusiastic over a thumbs up, which was yeah. really cool. More than uh, I love was. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Um, but it was really cool to meet Tim Edwards and his wife as well. That was, um, that was really cool. Really, really friendly group of people. Yeah. Um, unreal. Um, 10, yeah, it was absolutely unreal. How was the media center for you? Cause uh, I, you, you spent uh, a lot did, of time in there I more than me. Time. Um, for starters, the free drinks was really helpful, especially <laughs> on the Saturday. Um, yeah, grabbed a, grabbed a fair few of those. Yeah, um, <laughs> the, yeah, the tables yeah. full of cans of Coke. Um, the, the view was really cool. Mm. Um, being on the pit side of the main, like, mm. I've sat on that grandstand so many times, yeah. but to be on the other side of it and yeah. above, like literally above the Red Bull garage, um, it was that, super cool. I think my, really cool. my favorite clip of the week actually is I got to film on the Saturday race at Tickford and the Red Bull pit stop at the same time. Oh, that's cool. They both came into the box. That's cool. Um, if you do have that footage, send it to me and we can post it. Yeah. Cause that, that I, is, I don't know why you don't have it. Anyway. I don't um, know why you haven't sent it to me yet. I've got too much, man. My phone's full of just yeah. Adelaide 500. Um, <laughs> that was pretty, no, that was pretty cool. Um, I didn't know the jet was coming though. That was a bit scary. Yeah. I think everyone was a bit unexpected over that. No, but because I was indoors. Oh you, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. The whole building <laughs> vibrated. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Scared the crap out of all of us. And, um, no, that was, that was pretty fun. And then I couldn't see it either. So I had no idea when it was coming. Um, so that was awkward. Mm. Uh, yeah. The media center was really cool. Um, got to know, know a few people in there. Really friendly. Everyone was. Uh, a few photographers got to see what they do. They're really cool, man. Like mm. they they go out for whatever session they're paid to for you know photograph, and then come back, spend another hour or two importing the photos, do a bit of editing, yeah. do their social media, and they just they just go go go. There's some like, incredible shots too. Some of them are insane. A lot of them went to turn one, two, and three, which mm. is fair enough. Um, obviously being at a racetrack, that's not like a uh, forty over. We can just run around. Uh, you got to cover some distance. Mm. So a lot of them just went to like the last corner or, you know, somewhere close, mm. which is fair enough. But 
yeah, got a really good insight on what they do and something that is pretty inspirational for us as well. It's hopefully, things we can do in the future with them. Um, yeah, met some other media members, uh, met Lachlan, our you know, good friend. Yeah. Uh, he was really nice. Got to talk to him a lot. Um, yeah, it was just the overall experience of being in places you'd never been before mm. was just my favorite. It was part. a bit surreal, wasn't it? Like this, with um, like twelve months later, we're mm. suddenly here already. We only started this. Podcast, it's unreal, and we only just started talking about it because it was just fun. Exactly, and here we are in media. Yeah, which is unreal. We got to get as close as anything to supercars. Yeah, and um, hopefully we can actually uh, apply for supercars media for the whole mm. year not each individual round like a season yeah a season yeah, got, pass, to, yeah. got to find out how that works pretty similar to just the individual one mm. but um yeah that'd be cool mm. and hopefully something we can strive toward in the future but um it all wouldn't be thanks to listeners and yeah no, a massive thanks to everyone. everyone um we literally wouldn't be in the, even in the studio we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys so thank you very much and uh I'm so pumped for next year. Yeah. <laughs> next year is going to be massive. We've got heaps lined up already mm. to get next year underway, which we will, we will reveal mm -hmm. closer to the time. But it's going to be bigger and better next year. And we can't wait to have you guys on board with us for the whole year. Maybe we can do some more behind the scene vlogs and stuff like that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But no, massive thanks to you guys. Really appreciate it. All right. So, uh, yo, well, that was the media side of things that was the good side we pretty much finished <laughs> up on sunday uh saturday because sunday we brought our families mm. you brought your son and i brought my partner and mum and God. best mate and <laughs> for good and it actually helped being there because we uh we speaking of members and thanking everyone for mm. for helping us we did reach that three thousand k mark sorry yeah three thousand unreal unreal uh we came into the weekend of 2900 something yeah so to go up an extra hundred in like a couple of days. Yeah, exactly. And I managed to do it whilst live the mm. Saturday night. No, sorry, Friday night. At the Speedway. At the Speedway, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, we did a different if, live. How was the Speedway for you? I really loved it. I went Thursday night. Yeah. You went Friday. It I really loved it. It wasn't bad. I am I really wish I could sit down for it. Yes. Because um, the Friday I did 8 o'clock till 9. Mm. Like it was a long day. And I didn't even stay for the whole Speedway. No. I was too tired. <laughs> Got dinner, got to experience a few races, did the live stream and left. But um, yeah, I would go watch it again, hundred percent. Mm, I love the fact that it's temporary. You wouldn't even know. No. Um, they did a really cracking good job yeah. with it. Um, anyway, back with the yeah. No, on the, on the live we <laughs> hit the three thousand k mark. Why I keep saying that? Three thousand follow mark on TikTok, three k. What did call it? Three thousand k will be alright. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be nice. Three <laughs> k mark on uh, TikTok. And um, yeah, announced that I'll do the showy, and we decided not to do it on the Saturday because it's too hot. Um, then we did it on the Sunday, and during that time, mm -hmm. someone decided to dislocate his knee. Yes. And it wasn't me. Um, so I won't be <laughs> kneeling down for the foreseeable future. No. Uh, actually, in saying that though, it did work. Um, a lot of people <laughs> you did. Sure? Yeah, a lot of people looked. Yeah, um, well, if I went to go hype up the crowd, and then all of a sudden there was a guy on the floor. Yeah, I was like, hold my beer. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one better. <laughs> Daniel just didn't want the attention on me. No, he you, all the how attention. dare you? I'm the founder of LTM. <laughs> I should get more attention than you. What's going on here? So, no. <laughs> thing, as sad as it was and as much pain you were in, I think the, the best part is that photo we got. Someone uh, screenshotted a photo of uh, me doing the shoey yeah. itself with my head up in the air, Yvonne chewing like a cheerleader, and then you I'm <laughs> holding, my, holding, leg, holding my leg for dear life. <laughs> Look, it was really bad, and then yeah, obviously you got medical attention and did what you had to do. And me and my partner babysat mm. your child for a little bit, mm. which is and then fine. babysat me afterwards. Yeah, bought you a chair and everything. But with that being said, huge thanks to all the the medics oh. and the facility as well. Um, Usually they help out drivers, but this exactly. time you needed the help. Exactly. And, uh, now we've got to experience what they experienced. Well, someone said to get a tour of the medical center. We kind of did. I kind of did. Well, <laughs> technically, <laughs> the wrong one. Exactly. But yeah. Um, you did get a tour of one of them. Exactly. But huge shout out to them. Uh, really appreciate getting me off the ground. Luckily, my leg popped back in. Thank God. Thank God for that. It did it by itself. It was it, Maybe it was scared. Um, As all of us were. And I was all good after that. Yeah. It ended up, <laughs> it ended up fine, but scary for a little bit. Yeah. But it was all right. Which means I just, I'll just i just do the show again. Yeah, exactly. And this time That's we'll what... be sitting down doing it. I will be. You will be. Yeah, yeah. Good. Um, but let's actually talk about the weekend action. Yes. Um, so obviously, Will Brown, 2024 champion, well-deserved. Yeah, I called very. it from the beginning. Yep. 
I like to like to wear that proud. Um, but not only that, he also is the Adelaide 500 champion for winning on the Sunday, which is rare to see a champion. Actually, it is rare because it's the first time ever yeah. we've seen a champion win the last race, the last race of the year, and become champion for 500 as well. Yeah, well, uh, it wasn't meant to win. I'm still angry. Yeah, you were quite uh, animated th mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yep. Still angry. <laughs> so if you don't know, uh, by the way, Saturday was nothing happened. No. Nothing boring. happened Saturday at all. No safety car. Uh, Brock Feeney won that one, so there's really not much to talk about. Will comfortably won the championship on the Saturday. Yeah, he did. Um, but Sunday, it was Chazzy's uh, race to win until uh, he ended up going looking the other way after Brock Feeney knocked him out. Yeah, who also sorry had a fifteen second penalty already. Yeah, that's what I'd say for yeah. no reason. Um, he already had a fifteen second penalty, like you mm. said. He didn't need to pass him. Don't even know why he did. But I don't answer, even know if he know no, why he did. The answer is to help Will Brown. I don't know why, but anyway, could have left Chaz Moss to actually winning a race mm. after the. Oh, he hasn't had a terrible year, but terrible last couple of rounds. Yeah, after and, getting knocked out of the championship through technical. Yeah, faults. Gold Coast was a disaster. So he wanted something to go on, end on a high, and yeah, it didn't happen. And then Will Brown ended up winning the race from, well, across the line third. Mm. No, sorry, second. Who? Will Brown. Across the line second. Yeah, second. Brock yeah, was yeah. in front. Yeah. My apologies. And then Brock got another third, 20 sec, 20, uh, sorry, 15 second. Yeah, yeah, for that incident. Yeah. Um, But apparently Chaz was told to, to not fight Brock or something like that. But then it Brock didn't, was... Didn't look like know. he was anyway. It was just a really... It, it was the move that didn't exist. On. Yeah, it wasn't on at all. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that ended in tears. And, uh, yeah, obviously, they're all good mates, so they all mm. shed a laugh at the end of it, and there was nothing to really race for. So, yeah, on to next year. But overall, the action for the weekend was pretty crazy. Saw a lot of crashes in, as well. Categories. Yeah, we had the um, Stadium Super Trucks make a return and, mm. and almost cancelled <laughs> uh, after the massive crashes in uh, practice on the... Thursday? In one session. Yeah, two cars rolled over in one session. <laughs> exactly. Pretty crazy. Uh, Porsche's delivered a good show too. Um, obviously, we got to meet uh, Bailey Hall, who's a legend. Who actually, he had, he had a really won. great weekend with Grinio on board this weekend as yeah, well. Yeah, he did. First um, race with Grinio and he won. Um, but also, just in the paddock when we were mm. there, he was just such a nice guy. Mm. And I really hope that he has more success next year. And yeah. He has two brand, well, three, three brand new fans of his to Well, Ivan's support. a bit jealous of how you look at him now. <laughs> compared to him but wow. super utes as well was also really exciting super utes um cool. we actually saw a little bit of the classic utes uh in yeah. terms of the racing and the raw of the rawness of it yeah i think the super utes are well, obviously we haven't seen them in person for a couple for a couple of years but um yeah i, I quite enjoyed watching mm. them adam marjoram swept the whole weekend which i'm really race happy. three I'll, was I'll, sorry, i've always two. been a fan of him so. race two was it, it was nuts yeah yeah, because Jaden was supposed to win, but Jayden unfortunately he had a little tangle with Royal Harris. If you haven't watched the last lap of the Super, oh, Utes, Super Utes race two, that was brutal. go watch. That it. was brutal, hectic. Um, we also saw, saw a couple young guns have a turn at, mm -hmm. in the main game this weekend. Cooper Murray, yeah, unexpected. Uh, yeah, with Jack LeBrock's uh, yeah, the new two, baby, the two new rookies who are meant to start next year yeah, started this week. Exactly. Uh, Kai Allen also yep. subbing in for Richie Stanley on Sunday, who wasn't allowed to sub in for Saturday because of Super Two commitments mm -hmm. because Eccleston already got rid of one driver uh, with Cooper Murray because he uh, actually came into the yeah, weekend yeah. sitting out uh, yeah, originally right. and luckily he did. And speaking of Super 2, that championship got wrapped up by Zach Bates. Zach Bates, which was, uh, I don't think he was expecting that uh, oh, at had, the beginning of Bathurst. He had really good pace this weekend. He did really well. He yeah, held yeah. his ground really well. Aaron Cameron also put on a really good show as well. Yeah, well like the, the Supercar Championship where, you know, no one had to win. Mm. He did. Mm. He the fight was generally there. On you know, Aaron Cameron did a better job than Brock Feeney of mm. passing. Well, he never did actually, but you know what I mean. They battled hard, and no contact was made. And there was a few times we were down at turn nine on the on the Sunday. Yeah, they were we'll, exchanging we'll, passes. Actually, that was a really cool corner. Yeah, to sit at. It wasn't um, too bad. Saw a couple spins from Ryan Wood as well. Yep. Um, Matt Payne also tried a new calling system. <laughs> Uh, no hood, no bonnet. <laughs> yeah, um, which I'm surprised was legal, but got away yeah. with it. Um, but it must be so <laughs> boring running around in 23rd for the whole race. Yeah, I don't know. with no but like it was end two, of year. three laps down, mm. just just trundling around. Anyway, I mean, I there could be Valtteri, worse things to do. Valtteri Bottas <laughs> does it weekly, so there yeah, you go. Good point. 
Um, yeah, what else? Uh, Trans Am, Todd Hazelwood was that the was big really cool. Yeah, really cool racing as well. We saw a big prang happen. Ooh, yeah. Um, saw a couple cars out of contention for the yeah. weekend from an engine explosion, mm. oil um, on the ground, and then eight so cars followed him in. How good is it to see them once again? They haven't been Trans to Adelaide Am. since 2020. Yep. Um, really cool. Massive shout out to the TFH crew as well. Massive congrats to them for, for having a fantastic year, not only in Trans Am, but also TA2. They had a pretty decent year. Uh, Formula RX8, they had a really good year. Very. With Brock Payne as well. Um, shout out to him as well. What a weekend. Yeah, all in all. Adelaide 500 got awarded the best event of the year, as usual. Third, Third year in, time in a row. row, yeah, which is well deserved since it got returned. And this, t and they had a whopping two hundred and fifty nine thousand at uh, weekend attendance, which yep. was nine thousand more than last year. Um, so what they've done with Tractor Town and Speedway and Supercross as well, not to mention, absolutely fantastic. You know, Greg Ross mentioned in our interview that um, he's a fan of change, mm. and I think the Tractor Town is the best thing mm. supercars have done in a very long time. Absolutely. And I'm all for it. Absolutely. It started in Torpor where they drove like five kilometers. That was a long drive. <laughs> um, to the countryside and whatnot. But um, yeah, just the, the track satan experience is something you would never get in Formula One. And not to mention, it's free. Yeah, and it's free. You can get yes. very, very close. Even with the fences and stuff, you can get very, very close to the car without having to pay for a single thing. And yeah. because they're there for that full hour, there's plenty of time to have a closer look at Yeah, if at you cars. If you don't need or don't want to do the signature signing session, just walk around the cars mm. and um yeah, get up close and personal mm. with those and everyone's very friendly, all the all the volunteers mm. as well. And the setup with the Victoria Square was actually really was perfect. perfect. And with the food and the, the Red Bull um, yeah, 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 thing it was absolutely cool. Yeah, no, it was it was great. Lots of room to to walk around as well. Only thing that kind of sucked was the was the heat. Apart yeah. from that, it was um yeah pretty much I would say flawless mm. event. Mm. Um, out of um Christmas tree took a bit of a <laughs> yeah, but I guess there was <laughs> too that. much they could do about that. But out of all the weekend, all your duties, all the things, what was your favorite moment? Um, I still like the. The track to town. <laughs> yeah. We're going to keep uh, rambling on about that, but yeah, like it's just, it's just so unique. It's yeah. so unique. But also I think the, the, the track walk was pretty cool. Something mm. you'd never really do. Like you can walk, obviously you can walk the you track walk in Adelaide. With, but with, but with all the when fences teams there and, and when teams and drivers yeah, yeah, do yeah. it as well. Not only that, but I couldn't get about how narrow some of the corners were. Like turn eight, I understand now. Mm. That's narrow, man. Yeah. It's really narrow. Um, yeah, it's crazy experience all overall, but yeah, what was your favorite? I have to just say Wednesday as well. Yeah. To be I think next year will be a lot different, but because it's our first time we actually got to be part of the yeah. setup essentially with when no public public don't get to look at what we got to look at. Mm. Normally you just see on Instagram reels or something like that, but we actually visually got to walk in pit lane, hang out in pit lane. Mm -hmm. Not just you know, pit walks go for 10 minutes. You follow a line. No, this was a proper, you got to just sit there and just, we didn't actually sit need there to the leave. Whole day. No, we chose to leave because we wanted to get to track town. Yeah. But we did the track walk. Yeah. It took an hour. Yeah, exactly. Um, we didn't have to, we didn't know if we could do it. And then we got told we can. Mm. And yeah, just Unreal. walked around and checked out, checked out all the, all the things you wouldn't see normally exactly. on TV, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, hopefully this is not the last time we ever do this. I don't but... think it will be. <laughs> hopefully it won't. Will be. Hopefully it won't. You know what I mean? Yeah. We but um, no. <laughs> well, uh, fantastic year overalls and supercars. Massive congrats to Red Bull and Will Brown, of course. We will be doing a season review maybe in a few weeks' time. See whenever, as the as you know, motorsport comes to an end for the year. We've still got two rounds of Formula One left. Yep. Uh, but with that being said, this is the end of our show. Uh, thanks to everyone who has tuned in, whether you're on Radio Italiana, Spotify, YouTube, you name it. Uh, be sure to subscribe and follow if you haven't yet as well. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, 903 now, I think. Uh, so that's really, really cool. And, of course, like you mentioned before, 3,000K followers uh, on TikTok. <laughs> so massive thanks to you guys for that. It's unreal. Uh, just remember, I just located an E for you guys. So <laughs> that was unreal. Um, but, yeah. Be sure to follow our show, social media and stuff. It's the yellow icon. New icon, by the way. Shout out to Alex as well for, for designing our new logo. New little modern touch to it, which looks a lot better. Um, and uh, heaps more content coming our way for sure. So uh, any final thoughts, Alex? I still can't believe you dislocated your knee. I still can't get over it. I am gently reminded every morning. <laughs>
<laughs> my pain. Exactly. I still can't believe you. But that's that. okay. That's um, right. But uh, yeah, that's all from us. Thanks, Alex, for joining me in the studio. Hopefully, no we worries. see Ivan next time. But uh, that's all from us. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.